Well, a woman is recovering from serious injuries after she was attacked by a driver who had just rear-ended her car. The initial accident happened near Eureka and Trenton Roads. Then both parties pulled into the respective parking lots of a Red Lobster and an auto zone, and that's when things spiraled out of control. The victim told our Larry Spruill she remembers exactly what happened. It all started Wednesday evening with her daughter. They were out running errands when the unthinkable happened. I just looked back out of my car window and I had said, hey, and I kind of chuckled a little bit. I'm like, you just hit me. And she flew her hand up in the air. Due to safety concerns, we're hiding her face and calling her Kelly. Kelly tells me she just thought it was a simple accident. So she pulled into a Red Lobster parking lot just to get her information and then keep going. That all changed in just seconds when the woman who rear ended her got out of the car. She came running towards the car and she grabbed my hair out of the car window and proceeded to yank my head out of the car window and began punching my throat and my face and my head. Kelly says after the first attack, the woman got in her car and drove straight at her, pinning her between the two cars. She says it was at that moment she thought she was going to die. And I was actually being twisted between both vehicles. So she pinned me between both vehicles. I remember being on the ground, crying. I thought I was dead. Days later, Kelly is out of the hospital and recovering at home with several injuries. My, ins uh, my injuries included uh, three breaks or three fractures in my pelvis and two in my vertebrae in my back. Monday, I spoke with Southgate Police Chief Brett Selby. He tells me this road rage incident is one of a kind, and he has this message for Kelly's attacker. Uh, if she's out there and she's listening to this, her best bet is to probably turn herself in because uh, we'll find her. And of course, police are still looking for that driver. They are describing her as a white middle aged female, medium built. She has blonde to brownish hair. Now, police say she also had a dog with her at the time of the attack. She was driving a great Jeep Cherokee. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to call the police. We're live tonight, Larry Sproul, Local 4.